First day in office, the Director General of GRTS wasted no time to meet the people he has to team up with to move the institution and restore the confidence and trust of the populace in transmitting relevant information and programs for consumption. From now on, you know, I will personally be working with you on the scripts, on the pictures, and also even uh, the news itself, until maybe we can finally get to where we want to be. We have to be a very strong, relevant public service broadcaster that is uh, providing a platform for divergent views. I mean, uh, that is ready to serve as a, an important outlet where everything and anything about the development of the country can be said and promoted. The day-long tour of offices gave unit heads and individual staff the opportunity to welcome him and voice out some of their constraints and concerns. Our main problem here at the marketing is programs. Acting director of television programs, Fatu Sane Sise, received him with a bigger crowd, comprising all the units under production. Here, too, similar concerns were raised, ranging from low salaries, training, staff promotion, amongst others. Staff should be equally treated and rewarded based on their performance. You understand? Based on uh, yeah, performance. Let me stop at performance which is very, very important. Once that is lacking, it demotivates staff, even the best. So those are some things that are never mentioned, but they are the ones that are killing staff in this place. Next from there was the cameramen, technicians, drivers, and the car mechanics. Here also, aging equipment, lack of enough working tools, were some of the challenges they lamented. Any equipment that is five or ten years old, it's really old in broadcasting terms. Mm -hmm. And uh, this studio has been around since 2006. So you can see the level of aged equipment that we have considering uh, the movement of technology. Listening to the concerns raised and after inspecting the physical condition of the building and all equipment, the Director General said some of the issues need urgent action. You know, we have a staff that actually um, are very you know, committed and they want to do the job. But um, the challenges are numerous, um, from motivation in terms of salary and the conditions under which they work to their equipment. Um, I'm really surprised that um, this place is uh, left to uh, such a condition after you know, almost uh, 18 years of existence. On training, he highlighted some avenues to look at to address the situation. There are more than 50 training you know, institutions that provide free training you know, to uh, journalists, of, you know, I mean, uh, television stations in third world countries, the radio stations in third world countries. And I'm surprised that in the past 10, 15 years this has stopped. But maybe that could have been due to the kind of political dispensation that we have here in the Gambia. In a bid to improve the image of GRTS to gain the confidence and trust of the general public and embrace the country's democratic era, DG Silla called for teamwork, professionalism and commitment. The cost involved in taking this institution from analog to digital is huge, but expectations, according to DG Silla, are high that in the long run, with support from the leadership and its partners, it will be realized. Kadija Tujalo, GRTS News.